Should you invest in one, two, or three bedrooms? Which is the best investment? One, two, or three bedrooms? Okay, friends, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage, UrbanRealtyToronto.com, my main site. Now, before I begin, um, I, I saw that a few of the, uh, the uh, incoming uh, form requests on my sites were not working last few days. So if you've sent me a message and you did not get a response, I apologize, some technical stuff. Um, but do me a favor, either call the office at the number here, 416-993-7653, 416-993-7653, right here. Just give this number a call or try to send an email again. If you still did not get a response, just call the number, leave a message, say, uh, this is George, call Yo uh, Yossi, call me in this number, and all good, I'll call you right away, I'll get an email, okay? Thank you. So, let's keep moving into, should you buy one, two, or three bedroom condo, which is the best? So, yesterday, I showed you a video on my website, on my YouTube, youtube.com slash Yossi Kaplan, and it was, uh, can you tell if your condo will break even? Now, that has been a popular video. Uh, over over a hundred uh, views in a day which is amazing thank you very much and thank you everyone for commenting liking subscribing I really appreciate it and please do co comment like and subscribe because when you do this you help other investors find the information okay so when we looked at this video here and I'm gonna scroll right in what I did is the first half of the video I spent on explaining the project the Nordic condo going through the floor plans and then the second half um, <clears throat> which I had to redo, by the way, the whole thing because it crashed on me. Um, I basically look into all the numbers, uh, and here it is right here. I call it the Kaplan Condos Calculator, okay? Um, and we looked that um, you can actually break even. The conclusion was you can break even on a small two-bedroom unit. Now, why is that? Now, this imaginary unit, obviously, results will vary and, you know, big uh, disclaimer, disclosure, uh, this is not uh, investment advice, this is edutainment. Uh, nonetheless, I think uh, there's a lot of very, very good information you could use. And what we discovered here is at the price of 580, uh, 1032 a foot at 20%, uh, cash on cash, you will break even at about $3,000 a month expenses and the rent $3,000 a month is, is feasible, in my opinion, to this kind of condo at this kind of location. You're close to, close to York, it's super modern. It's, it's a very, very nice project. So if you want to see more information about it, uh, look here. And the reason I'm bugging on Nordic is two. One is because uh, the sale, this is the same video here. The sale is going on right now, so I can get you into the platinum prices, which is great. Uh, next week, they'll start the VIP. In a couple of weeks, they'll start the public. So, you know, as the inventory dwindles, and some agent told me they had like 10 people buying, 20 people buying, not all the same. And uh, all locals, they said, which is really good. So you can get the floor plans here, everything. You can see all the information about the building. It's absolutely gorgeous. Location is very good. Uh, the site plan and all the technology, the environmental technology they're using is great. And the design, I, I really like it. I, th I think, I think it's, it's, it's viable value. It may not be as glitzy as some uh, funky stuff downtown, but it just works. And as an investor, I want to see stuff that works. I, I, I did a lot of work. I, I do all these things myself, by the way. I did a lot of work on posting these floor plans for you and all the information in the best possible way I can so there you go all the floor plans are here they also have these uh, work units oh, there's only eight of them <coughs> and, I, I, and, and the worksheets right here and uh, I think the work units are also a phenomenal investment potentiality here because they face Wilson so maybe you can have a little something in, in the window uh, these are not retail so you know it's not like you can open a restaurant or a sandwich shop or anything like that but you can do an office a real estate office architect office, a studio, anything like that, it's okay, all right? So at the bottom here, of course, you can get all the listings. That will take you to resale listings. They're updated 24-7. It's automated. So there you go. It takes you to yossi.searchrealty.co, and then there's a free registration required. If you're not registered, which is fine. So I've pre-designed all these areas, and it's really good. The reason I'm showing you this is because it's a really good idea to compare new construction with resale because, you know, in the <laughs> When I started, 7616, that actually was one of my first uh, purchases a long, long time ago. Um, maybe the first. And uh, it was a two-story, rickety, like old warehouse. And the developer, that was Walter Harhe <coughs> at the time. He's passed since. And, uh, but Harhe exists. They're doing great stuff, by the way. Uh, they added three stories and made this condo. And this unit here, 305, was one of my first purchases. I had no idea what I was doing, uh, but I had a good hunch and I came from a construction family and everything looked good to me. 
this made sense and it did great. Okay, so you can compare uh, what's going on in the resale market to what you're buying now, and that's very, very important, okay? So that's, that's a really good tool, research tool, but also you can see you may be able to make some money on assignments. Uh, if you want to see assignments on the system, they come here. Now, assignments like I have at 48 University or 159SW or any of these assignments, it's like, you know, so many of them, they, they're not going to be on the system uh, because they're not on MLS. Now, I can upload them manually. I just don't do it. I'd rather you call me, tell me what you look for. If you call me and say, send me all your assignments, it's never going to happen. You're not for real. You're not serious. But if you say, I'm looking for a one plus then in the core up to 700,000, then I will send you exactly what fits your budget because that's how it works, okay? So all these pre-made searches are available to you here at the bottom, okay, if you want to get a penthouse. And, and also use it as a research tool because when you look at buying a pre-construction, you should always compare it to what the market has um, how, what's on the market, what people are selling for, what are the features they have so far. It's very, very useful. Okay, so you, you can get uh, very good searches here. Okay, so uh, I, I'll track back here to the Nordic. And I'm going to keep it this one because it's around a thousand bucks a foot, so it, make, it makes number easier. And later, in a later video, I'm going to run the exact same for you. It's uh, 1,500 a foot and 2,000 a foot. I already made the template, but I got to work on it a little bit. You know, each of these videos take a long time to prepare, uh, so I can only make a couple a week. Uh, Twitter.com slash so Kaplan. Please follow me. Thank you very much for all the followers that have followed. Everything that comes here it is from my phone or any of my devices. You know, sometimes I like uh, Terry and I has no protection for condo buyers, of course, because they've been uh, just scorched by the uh, Ontario auditor. Okay, so. There's a lot of stuff here that I just don't have time. I'll just, I'll just put it on Twitter. If there's a new video, we'll post it automatic, and everything else will come here, stuff like that, okay? Uh, European Luxury Real Estate is where you get uh, over a million. UOCCapital.com is where I, I put a lot of investments and uh, development, so it's, it's parallel to Urban Realty. Let's just try something different, uh, spread the uh, IP here. Okay, I'm going to close this window here. I'm going to close the resale window here. I'm going to close this window whistle here. And we're going to go right into it. So in this video yesterday, uh, I showed you how to do the calculations. And also, if you emailed me, you received the link to my Dropbox. I can't post it publicly. The developer asked me not to do this. But it is available. There's no password. But you do have, you need the link. And you just, it's just not available. I'm just going to email you, cut and paste the link. So. Just email me and I'll send it to you. So you can get all the information here. Okay, and what you'll get, you get the link and you'll see this Nordic brochure. Uh, that is a picture from the website that shows you um, what to look for on the website. And here you get the, uh, the actual info sheet with the sample price list, the maintenance fee structure, all that stuff, parking deposit. Now that's platinum, okay? It's going to change. Okay. Now, um, this is the Kaplan Condos calculator, version one, and this is where I left it yesterday with the video. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna basically add, um, and this is all live, I've not prepared this. I'm just gonna do it live. If I make it good, it's great. If it's if there's a mistake, you will see it. So just follow up with me here. We're just gonna do it live, first time, never done it before. Um, it's gonna go for it. Okay, so Nordic Condo. So this is the two bedroom, okay? And the next thing I wanna do is probably pick on a one bedroom unit, and it doesn't really matter which one exactly. Um, obviously, these are tiny, tiny units. 440, 460, that's a nice, uh, I like this plan here. There's just not enough of them, there's only three. I'm looking for something that you know, appears more times, especially as an investor, like what's more available? Uh, that's an inside corner, don't, don't touch that. That is a nice design. Also, just the one on the 12th floor. Uh, what do we got here? Level one, level two. So those are patios. There'll be a little more. Looking for like a like a like a cookie cutter unit here. Master bedroom. That's a nice unit. That's a one plus den at 490. That's actually a really nice unit. Okay. Uh, five, four. Okay, now, okay, I'm going to go back. I want some smaller, but not too small. That works well. Let's see if I can find it. One. There's only three of these in this picture, but there's, there's probably more. 440. Okay, let, let's, let's go with this one, okay? It's got 
let's go with this one, 460. Okay, so we go back here, 455, for half a million. Okay, so in a one bedroom star, it's a very, very, very small. So let's take, for example, a one bedroom and half a million, okay? Um, why? Because what do we have a 580? So we'll do 480. We'll do we'll do uh, we'll do uh, basically look for something like in between. So 480 thousand dollars for the price for my imaginary price. It'll be somewhere here, and a thousand buck a foot. Maybe it'll be slightly more. So I'll go like this. I'll take this column here. Okay. That's whatever was there doesn't matter. Okay, so now I got a Nordic condo, uh, one bedroom, have an avenue, and I'll say this is a 480 square feet, okay, and the price on it will be 480. Let's try 485. 1010 a foot, okay, just gonna get you a little bit uh, similar. So now I wanna see what the deposit is 20%. So this uh, 20% time on my purchase price okay so it's 97,000 so you can see it's a little less uh, the original price of the purchase price 485 and let's look at the deposit so 5% 5% 5% 5% if, if you remember to find what is deposits they're right here magic okay so the deposit structure is right here and it says 5,000 5, with offer Balance to 5% in 30 days. It means that the 5% less than 5,000, that's what you pay in 30 days. And that's 30 days since the day you've signed on the agreement. That's not 30 days since the 10 day. So if today, November 1st, if you Friday, if you sign today, uh, 10 days will be November 10. 90 days will be three months from now. So it'll be uh, December, January, February. Okay? February 1st, and then we'll have November 1st, 2020. And then it'll be somewhere in the middle. That's about uh, 195 days, another three months or so in. So it'll be in, uh, around uh, January 2021, some of that. Okay. So <clears throat> back here, Kaplan Condo Calculator. <laughs> okay. So the first payment, and, and this one, it's basically the 5,000. It, it's, it, it's, it's the entire 5%. It's the 5,000 and the 5% and the less 5,000. I'm just going to put it together. You have to have that money available. The whole thing about the 5,000, if, if I were a developer, I'd just charge 5% up front or even 10% up front. It's a lot easier for everyone, you know, and it, and it also kind of easier. Anyway, so this equals 5% uh, time uh, my purchase price. Okay, and what I'm going to do here, I'm going to freeze this so I can copy it. So put a dollar sign here and a dollar sign here. Okay, and now I can... On. As I said, this is live since I have all the files. I'm going to freeze the price instead. That should work. Let's see. Yeah, okay, good. So now we got uh, four deposits of 5% each on this imaginary one bedroom condo at uh, Nordic uh, 500 Wilson, which is on VIP Platinum right now. And it's 24,250. So you see, the difference between each unit is not that much. It's 4750 per payment, per payment. That's the difference. So if you want to spend another five grand, you can get the other one. Five grand, of course, times four. So $20,000 difference, uh, more or less, right? Just just over 19,000. Okay, good, 19,000 difference. So there you go. Um, so that is the one. Now, what would be the mortgage amount for this unit? It will be 80% of the original price that's the mortgage amount 388 okay okay now if you haven't watched uh, yesterday's video go and watch it I do it and I, I take a lot more time to explain everything but I'm gonna run through it assuming that you've watched it you know it okay um, that is the video you want to watch to see exactly how I do like step by step very slowly okay now I'm gonna look at the maintenance fees the tax and the mortgage so the maintenance fees so what is the size of this unit I'm looking at is it my size is 480. Uh, the maintenance fees, of course, is how many dollar or cents per foot maintenance fees in our case. Now, Nordic says it's 50 cents a foot right here, maintenance fees. 
50 cents a foot, 56 cents a foot. I assume a little more, I assume 6.65 over dollars so or 65 cents a foot. And the reason is because I wanna, I, I'm a con very conservative investor, I'm a conservative person, I like to sleep at night. So I add a little bit, it's not much, you know, I add, it's like less than 10%, but I add that just to cover for whatever. Now most buildings downtown, they're already at the 75 to 80 cents a foot. Uh, condos.ca, you can find that information, you can ask me like, what's, what should I pay per foot? So that's what I'm assuming here, and it'll basically be 65, 0.65 over dollar times the square feet that I have, which is here, 480. And that gives me 312 a month. Okay, now what is the tax? Uh, here the tax I estimated 1%. Okay, 1%. Okay, so the factor is uh, 0 0.01 and of the purchase price divided by 12. So what's 1% of 485? Well, it's, it's easy, it's uh, 4850. Okay, and then of course I want to divide it by 12 because I want to look at what is per month because I'm an investor. Everything goes by the month. 4 4. Okay, and my total is. And the mortgage. So the mortgage is not 2200. So we go to the TD Mortgage Calculator. TD Mortgage Calculator. Okay. So the amount of the mortgage is this one, mortgage amount. It is not the original price, it is the mortgage amount, which is 80% of this one, so 388. So in this case, I'm going for 388. And like I'm just gonna compare it to what I did yesterday, which I did a, a one-year close. It doesn't really make any difference at 3%. Now this is a bit tricky how it comes in. 3.00% at 25 years, monthly. Uh, no lump sum and no insurance, just wanna, do a pure, it's 1836, 19, 1836. Okay, so I take 1836 and I plug it here. 1836. Dun, da, da, da. And I get 25.52 total monthly carrying costs per month for this condo. So this condo costs 100,000 less or, or uh, let's make it 95, let's make it 100,000 less. 480, 1, 2, 3. So that means that my mortgage amount slightly changed. 1817. Okay, so I'm saving 19 bucks. 2529. So 2500 bucks a month for this one bedroom, 480 square feet condo. Can you get 2500 a month for this unit? Uh, in today's prices, absolutely not. Okay, absolutely not. So this is this is a flip unit. Why would you buy this unit? You would buy it because you want to flip it because it's not gonna generate. Um, zoom out here. It's not gonna generate, you know, one person is not gonna give you 2,500 a month, but two people, 1,500 each, that makes a lot more sense, okay? So, you see, that's the thing. Now, even if it's uh, 440, let's try, let's try 440, reduce this unit, uh, and let's say this unit is 440 square feet, and let's say I only pay 1,000, uh, let's say it's 450. Okay, that's more or less the same. So 130,000 less, you see deposit required those are 90,000 now, and my payments are significantly lower. And now my mortgage amount is 360. And I'm running a little faster now because I assume that you followed. So 1,700 a month and three. So then, you know, the maintenance stay, the maintenance uh, already adjusted itself. Uh, the tax adjusted itself. And here, I got 1,703. 1703. So I'm shaving it. Okay, 2364. So I saved uh, $136 a month um, buying a little cheaper unit, 450 Is it worth it? Um, still very, very iffy. Okay, still very, very difficult. I'm, I'm about $700 less than a two bedroom. Now, mind you, I had to invest a lot less. I invested $130,000, but the, the break even situation on a two bedroom looks a lot better. Okay, so let's look at the three bedroom units. So first thing, I haven't really paid too much attention to them, so let's go to the three bedroom units now. And then I'll do a summary at the end and I'll give you some my thoughts, so stick with me here. At the very, very, very end of this video, I'll give you one more really good tool. So if you stick into the end, um, and I try not to drag this forever like yesterday. Uh, okay, so three bedroom, we got a 748 square feet of so the very efficient unit. 
uh, there's a one bedroom, there's a one bedroom, there's a one bedroom. That is that is a that is a proper student accommodation. Don't forget you're close to New York to me, that's like my target audience and the area is underserved with condos and housing. Underserved. There's just not enough there. Somebody said, Well Tritty is next door. I said, Yeah, but how many units are Tritty? 500, 600, 1,000 units, it doesn't matter, just not enough stuff. If you drive around Wilson and Downsview, there's lots of vacant spaces, open spaces. In the city, when you put one building, you know, you put 1,000 people in one tower, and soon there'll be 2,000 people in one tower. You just wait and see, okay? You can build, you can technically build 1,000 stories of concrete. It's, it's, it's possible. So here... Uh, this is a decent. Uh, this is actually a very decent unit bath and ensuite. So these two uh, will share this bath, and this here is the princess room. Okay, uh, it's a nice unit. It's facing south. It's a corner unit. It's showing only three of those here. Um, this unit here appears in more uh, sectors. It's got a very nice balcony. It's a little narrow, but it's still cool. There's one bedroom here, kitchen tucked at the back, bathroom and ensuite, living bedroom. Master, it's really good. I hope this sounds okay. It's so loud here. Friday is usually a lot of people come to the cafe and chit 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 chat 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 chat. Okay, and here there's a three bedroom. I like this even more. It's 728 of feet, so it's slightly smaller. It's got a nicer terrace, um, and I think that's a pretty good design. You literally enter in the middle, so there's a half here with a kitchen, bath, and master bedroom, and there's another here with two bedrooms, larger the master with its own ensuite. This bedroom here. I guess I have to track, okay, so this bedroom here will have to, uh, they're going to have to go from here all the way to pee in this bathroom here. Okay, well, you know, you're working in real estate, it, it's all about the floor plan, because you have a good floor plan that saves your life. And it's very, very tight, 728 square feet, this is very, very tight, look at the size, 8 by 8, 8, 9, 4 by 8, 3, but you know what, it's okay, I mean, if you're 20 years old, you go to York, you live in this building, <laughs> you're very, very lucky, okay? Uh, here's another unit, it's almost the same, okay? Uh, and here's one 765, that's also nice. 810, now they get larger. Uh, the larger units, obviously, you know, <laughs> okay, the larger units, I try to look for some in the middle, the larger usually skewed, and the very small one, they're very skewed. The large ones will have maybe lower dollar per foot, but higher maintenance and so on and that's a whole other calculation but i just want to see like on average one two or three bedroom what's the most efficient and you don't see a lot of three bedrooms these days um, so when you do pay attention okay so let's go look to the sample price list here and these are from prices so uh, this is what the developer deems as the least good unit the, the worst three bedroom the lowest floor the least light the inside corner that's what you're going to get on the cheapest price now if you invest in focusing on cheap, 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 uh, you come to the wrong place. I focus on quality. I focus on longevity. Um, scroll back to my videos called The Three L's and it talks about what to look for. It's all about the longevity, you know, the location, the layouts, all these L's. So the three bedrooms, they start at 649 um, and somewhere in the middle, let's say 700,000, okay? Let's, uh, let's, let's take it as a 700,000 unit. And if you look also, another uh, trick you can do is you look here, I'm gonna bring my cal calculator. I don't know if you can see it. In the, I don't know if it captures this video or not, but I'll do it here. 700, one, two, three, divide by seven, uh, let's say 725. That's 965 a foot. Okay, so the prices for the three bedrooms are usually lower to foot, you know, I think in this building you get something like 913. If you received yesterday's newsletter, you received the direct link to download all this information. If you're not receiving the direct link, then uh, let me know. Just email me or call me and I'll send it to you, okay? They are selling quickly. Uh, it's a phenomenal project. I'm not the only agent that's preaching about this one. But also it's easy because it's around a thousand bucks a foot, so it makes an absolute great sample. Okay. This is from yesterday. Move this aside. Okay, so now I'm going to. I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy the. It doesn't matter which one. Let me make it three beds. Maybe we should swap the one and the two.
beauty. So there's a one bed, 440 square feet, 550 square feet, uh, 725 square feet, okay? And let's say the price on this one, 700,000. So that, oh, look at this. That comes in 966 a foot, of course, it's because that's the reverse calculation what I did for you. So what is the deposit required? It is 20% times the purchase price, and that's a 20% deposit bill, not a 15. And I like it because I, 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 I want to weed out the weak buyers because whenever someone is like buying at 15% down and then thinking to flip it and can't even close on it, they're risking everyone else in the building and risk the developer and whoever financing. And increases the chance the project's not going to get completed. I don't like it. So it's better to weed out those who are the uh, all the speculators. Weed them out. If you go into a building where everyone's speculating, do not buy there. Do not ever buy in a speculative building, okay? Okay, original price is 700. Uh, one of my four payments here, the 5%, so it's going to be 5% times my original purchase price. Freeze it. Oh. Freeze me is putting the dollar signs. I put on the on a G because I'm freezing the G and I'm freezing the 19, so now I can just, so 35,000, so. Okay, so now, look at this. So now the price is 700000 Each payment is $35,000. That's a lot of money. And it ends up at $140,000 of the payment. So what's my mortgage amount? It's the, what's left over, 80% of the purchase price. This is Condo School 101 here, my friends. $560,000 you need for the mortgage. So it's $200,000 more. So that actually turned out really well. Three sixty dollars for the one-bedroom, four sixty dollars for the two-bedroom, and five sixty dollars for the three-bedroom. That is really really good um, and what would be the maintenance fees on this unit so you'll be uh, 0.65 remember I take it from here maintenance fees and I put a little more so it'll be 0.65 times uh, how many square feet I have which is in my imaginary 725 okay so 471 a month in the tax 1% of purchase price now those those taxes are getting crazy crazy amount 7,000 and now I need to divide by 12 I, I you know, I want to make sure that that one percent that didn't work. That one percent is coming to crazy, crazy amounts. It means when you buy a million dollar unit, uh, you're paying you know almost a thousand bucks a month on condo fees. So we'll see how that works. But and the mortgage, of course, it's not uh, seventeen. Uh, the mortgage amount um, is five sixty. 560, so 2650 a month, okay? Everything else is the same. One year close, 3%, 25 years monthly. Da da da. And don't forget the principal paid here, the 15,000. I'm not including this in my in my ROI calculations. I am turning off the any other options. I just want to do like a quick finance school style uh, calculation. So 2650, plug it in here. 2650. Okay, so now my costs are 3700. Okay. Um, let's see what's the what's the so I need to come up with 3700 buck and it also turned out pretty good so it's 23 something at 700 at 700 it's about 700 difference a month in carrying costs for these units after everything and of course assuming this is net 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 cash from cash and cash um, basically that means that I'm not taking into consideration closing costs I'm not taking into consideration any other expenses. I'm not taking into consideration any uh, vacancies, none of that. Now, the developer will give you right to lease uh, during occupancy to reduce your costs, of course. But when the building opens, you know, um, except for Tridel, maybe, a lot of developers, Tridel will never give you a building that's not completed. They're phenomenal this way. And that's why you pay extra for Tridel. It's just unbelievable. There are other developers like Tridel. They're, of course, the most famous one for their immaculate service absolutely immaculate you know dealing with Tridel is like dealing with Rolls um, now this developer um, could be just as good it doesn't mean uh, like everyone should look up to the number one and then try to pass them that's how we all get better and here what you'll see is right to lease during occupancy means that you can rent you can the developer will allow you to lease it even though it's not technically yours it's not technically yours because you haven't closed on it yet so it's not deeded to you yet so I'm just going to add a couple of lines here. Okay. And okay, great. So what I'm going to do now, let's make this look pretty. Let me just complete uh, here, just to appease all the OCD. 
Okay, great. Uh, so cost per room. Cost per bed room. And let's turn the uh, let's turn the visibility on here. Okay, so my cost per bedroom. Okay, so the cost per bedroom is uh, this one divided by one, and this one divided by two, and this one divided by three. Look at that, my friends. Okay, so I'm going to make it bigger for you. That is amazing. I'm so happy I did this. So, you know, I've, I've done it in my head so many times, but never like that organized. So thank God I need to do this video. Um, so on the one bedroom, okay. So on the on on the one bedroom, my monthly expenses are low. You know, they're two eighty six for the maintenance, they're three seventy five for the tax, and the seventeen for the mortgage comes to twenty three sixty four. So I need to generate rent of twenty three sixty four to cover these costs. And again, without including anything else, okay? So ongoing, long-term, the tenant stays at four years, they're a student, just pay me every month, fine. Okay, the two-bedroom, I need to pay 365 maintenance, 483 municipal tax, and 2200 mortgage comes to 3049, $3,050 a month, and if cost per bedroom is 1524, half, okay? so. What's easier to find? One person to pay twenty three sixty four or two people to pay fifteen twenty four? You got it. Uh, the three bedroom is so interesting. The cost is, of course, is much higher because I'm using a, a purchase price here of uh, seven hundred thousand dollars. Okay, these are my purchase prices. Um, but the cost per room is only twelve hundred, twelve thirty five. So what I can do is I can find three students or one student to take the lease and rent it to two other friends. And in many cases, I found, and I've done deals before, where someone came to me and said, I want to rent a big house, three, four, five, six bedrooms, and then I'll take the lease on me and I'll rent to the other students. And that happens. Um, now, you can, you can obviously get a little more. You, can, you could get 1500 for each room. That means that whoever is the, the mama son here that in charge, the major domo in Latin, the, the owner of the home, um, the one who's in charge of the lease, um, they can charge 1500 for the first room, 1500 for the third room, and live for about a thousand bucks in their own room. Okay, that's assuming that I'm only I only charge that amount uh, just to cover my expenses. Now, in real life, of course, may vary and differ because I may be able to get the 23, 23.64 a month for the one bedroom, but you know, if there's like 200 bedrooms, like one bedroom. It's a bit difficult, even in four years' time, because salaries don't rise so quickly. Although the cost of one bedroom in Toronto is a bit two thousand, is about two thousand dollars. But clearly, you can see that the two bedroom and a three bedroom provide much better option to secure tenants at lower rate, especially if they're students. So, the math tells me here that for a project like Nordic. Um, I should really look in a two-bedroom. Now, yesterday I kept telling you two-bedroom, two-bedroom, two-bedroom. This is the most efficient unit, and I still think it is the most efficient unit. The two-bedroom right here, this one here. Um, so your risk is a little lower than the one-bedroom, and be because the carrying cost over bedroom is much much lower, and the three-bedroom gives you a little bit more of an edge, but the entry, uh, the cost to enter the game on a three-bedroom is much higher especially if you buy a unit for $800,000. So why would you buy a three-bedroom for $800,000 here? Well, there's a few options. Number one is scarcity. There's just not enough of them, okay? Uh, number two is that you're banking on price appreciation. Uh, obviously, the more square feet, if we measure everything by dollar per foot, the more square feet, the more money you'll make at the end. Um, but at the same time, your carrying costs and your upstart costs are higher. Uh, number three reason, which I think is the most important why, we, why you'd buy a three-bedroom unit, is because you get it on the top floor or the patio um, and you just enjoy this beautiful larger unit in the building which is all tiny tiny units um, and, and basically you have something that no one else has like this one here okay um, so you can see this is level 12 with a terrace so that's gorgeous now it's facing north but you get lots and lots of light you're gonna have crazy views here 
I think there'll be quite a bit of greenery and colors in the fall. So the design is pretty good. I mean, this unit is really nice. So this is a premium unit, and maybe it's eight hundred thousand dollars, a four thousand dollar a month unit, just give or take. Um, but that provides a very efficient way of living, and you know, still your condo fees are very, very low for this unit. Very, very low condo fees, about five hundred bucks a month, and your condo fees are still reasonable. So if you're looking at just a fixed cost, it's still not bad. It's about a buck fifty a foot, like we did yesterday. So you know, a thousand, twelve hundred, thirteen hundred a foot uh, 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 per condo per month for fixed cost. If you paid cash for it, it's actually a pretty good deal. I mean, you couldn't get anything better for this, uh, plus the building, plus the location, everything. So, if you are, if you have the means, and maybe you have a family, let's say you work at York or in the area, and you have a young family, one, why not buy one of these? I mean, you know, you won't be able to get a house for that. And you won't need to fix anything, you won't need to f change anything. Everything is good, you can walk your puppy. There's a wa dog walking area, you can geothermal, uh, everything, you know, green, green environmental engineering. So that's what it is. If you want to pick one of these units, uh, just download the Nordic uh, worksheet and fill it in with your name, your information, and your top three choices of units and send it to me and if you want some advice on which units to pick I'll be more than happy to help you uh, the eight of these units I don't know how many they have at the moment left uh, but I think that is such a unique proposition here I would seriously look into these two okay so now I'm gonna summarize and then I'll show you a couple more tricks because I promise I will so the summary goes like this the investment itself and and that's something I want you to take home with you. The investment itself is obviously much lower in value on the one bedroom. So that gives you a quicker opportunity for appreciation. That gives you a quicker opportunity for a flip. That's why a lot of flippers that have no intention of closing on the unit, they always chase for the small units. What they forget is the small unit, and that's a tip I'm gonna give you now. What people forget is a lot of the small units, because they're so small, the designs may not be very efficient. Now, I have to say Nordic is some of the best plans I've ever seen, but even here, you know, like this is all, there's basically no living space. Like wherever you sit, you're looking into your kitchen. It's so tiny. It's a studio. I always just left it open. Uh, and here, that's a bit more reasonable because the kitchen is at the back and you get yourself a little bit of a living room. So that's a, a space. If it was up to me, I would actually put this wall here where the where the master bedroom here and I know they did it because that's where the window is but and that's why they do that glass walls because uh, in order to call it a bedroom you have to have a, a window but I would just call it a studio and open it up I think that makes a lot more sense because that that's a good plan um, the 450 is much much better here there's not too many of them but that is a proper 450 okay that is a very very good design so if you want to know if any of these left, there's only four of these. Uh, give me a quick shout, call me, this way, and I'll tell you. Okay, uh, some units with patios could be really cool, especially if you're a dog lover. You need to have the dog out or the kid playing outside, baby. Um, and don't touch the inside corner. I don't like them. They're probably at a discount, but still. Um, and this is where you get, you're going to get some really nice bonus. Like, look at this floor plan. Okay, it's got a tiny, tiny den. Uh, it's good for a crib or for a very small person to crash in there. Um, but it's it's a one bedroom, okay? But the design is very, very good. The kitchen in the back, very good design, my friends. Okay? So, the, and that's your bonus right here. If you're a flipper, you're looking into, look into the sub 500, 550, thousand units. Those will give you a better opportunity to flip because more people have less money and less people have more money so that means that if I need to flip it to the next person who wasn't there on time or wasn't in Toronto or couldn't afford it or whatever it is um, just came to town and they want to buy a condo there because they want to go to York or be in the area um, there will be an easier sale now the larger units and that's the big take home here the larger units they are much more expensive they're expensive up front and they have a high carrying cost okay 3700 a month I need for this, but I may be able to make great money on rent. And if I can indeed charge 
more than my carrying costs, then I can make some good cash flows. And how do I make cash flows? You know, to make cash flow here is, is nearly impossible. To make cash flow here or to break even is very possible. How would I make cash flow here? I'm going to have to increase my deposit to lower this amount. Let's say I can get 4000 in rent for the three bedroom and each of the tenants uh, paying a third. Thirteen thirty-three a month, okay? It, it's still less, you know, 12, because I'm charging a little more. It's still less than here. So if I wanted to squeeze some money out, uh, what I will do is I will increase my deposit. What happens when I put 30% deposit? I add $70,000 to 10, okay? Now, this is, when would you pay this? You pay the, this extra 10% at the time of closing, it's not to the developer, just when you take your mortgage, you'll just put 10% extra and you can do it through your lawyer or through your bank. They work together and you'll say, I want to put another 70000 before I close, on closing, when I get the mortgage. And I've done a lot of deals. We went to the developer and we asked an amendment to put more money down on final closing. And no developer would say, no, it's better for them anyways, it's easier. And in many cases, I had cash-rich clients who were able to do 100% on these. So they put the 20% deposit, 5555, and then they put the rest of the 80% as the unit closes, final registration, not occupancy, but when it deeds to you. And then they have no mortgage, no mortgage costs, get them all that stuff they can skip at the mortgage brokering. It's, it's a headache. Okay, so if I do 30% here, let's say 35, even, uh, you know, international buyer, we can compare, how do they see it? So now it's 65, so now my, now my, my actual deposit is 245, which is huge, so it's, it's uh, 140 now and another 105 when I close. Not for everyone, but let's just see, uh, and now my mortgage is 455, so I'll plug it back into uh, TD Mortgage Calculator. And I'm down to 2153. 2153. 2153. Look at this. This is the more even less than a two-bedroom. And now I drop my costs to 3200 So I drop my cost about 500 bucks a month. And the cost per bedroom is now only 1069, 1100 bucks. Now if I charge 4000 a month for the unit, okay, so 4,000 less. So now I got a bit of a cash flow. I got 800 bucks a month coming as cash flow. Okay? So you can see how that works. Obviously, to flip that unit, we take longer. And the ROI, and that's a whole other video, usually shows better on small units. But at the end of the day, you want to make more money in your hand. So, and this is the last tip for today and the last uh, gift I'm giving you today. And then we'll finish. It's enough for one video. Um, the, the idea here is that you really got to look at what kind of investor are you. If you're a long-term investor, uh, definitely look in the two and three bedroom. If you're beginning um, or you're playing small, look at the one bedroom. Um, the one bedroom in the short term will probably do better because it's easier to flip it and make an extra 100 grand. Uh, on, on a 450,000, then a 700,000, um, and the percentage-wise, 100 grand over 450 is much higher than 100 grand over 700. Okay, so that's what you need to know. All right, Yossi Kaplan, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you very much. Uh, if you want to buy, sell, assign anything, just let me know. Okay, thank you very much. All the followers, 2175. YorkVilleLuxuryRealEstate.com, YossiCompany.com, UrbanRealtyToronto.com. If you emailed me last uh, week and you did not get a response, my apologies. Uh, some tech issues are still ongoing. I hope to solve them this weekend. But just call the office, leave your name and number. I'll call you right back. Okay? YouTube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate everyone who's been supporting this channel and supporting my work. Uh, it's so positive, it's so amazing. I wish everyone luck, and I'm here to help you. Uh, even if you're not buying with me, it's okay. If you're thinking of assigning or selling, just give me a call. I'll give you my best subjective opinion. That's it.